Interchanges in the U.S. have developed significantly as freeways have expanded across the country and the interstate system was founded. There are several different types of these interchanges that have specific situations they apply to, with urban areas seeing larger, more intricate designs, and rural areas seeing simple designs that will save money while carrying the required amount of traffic. There are diamond interchanges, cloverleaf interchanges, stack interchanges, and many more. And while we could easily go through all of the different types around the country, today I wanted to talk about a new form of interchange that has gained significant popularity around the country recently, and for good reason, and that's the diverging diamond interchange. Before this video starts though, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Growth has been slow recently, and we make geography content like this every week. So if you appreciate the content, subscribing is the best way to show your support. Thank you! So let's start with the simple overview of what a diverging diamond interchange is, and how it's specifically unique from other designs. So a diverging diamond interchange, sometimes referred to as a double crossover diamond, has the general resemblance of a conventional diamond interchange, which is the most common form in the US. There are two intersections on either side where the on and off ramps meet the arterial road. At these intersections, the roads switch sides for a short portion and then switch back to normal. There are then two connecting spots for each on and off ramp. The main use for this is to eliminate left hand across traffic turns completely. If you're coming off a highway and want to turn left, usually you'd have to wait at a light and attempt to turn across traffic. With a diverging diamond, you can just turn left as if it were a right turn, since you don't have to cross any traffic. Now it turns out left turns are where the bulk of accidents occur in high traffic intersections. So this was an extremely successful design getting rid of nearly 50% of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle conflict points and eliminating even the possibility of a lot of the most severe crash types. You'll come to find how successful it was now as we get into the history. So the first diverging diamond interchanges were in France, in communities such as Céclin and Versailles in the 1970s, with the nation having just three for over 20 years. But it spread to the U.S. in the early 2000s. In 2005, the Ohio DOT considered building one at the interchange between US 224 and State Route 15 in Findlay, but it was reconsidered and new lanes were instead added. In 2009, though, Missouri became the first state to start construction on one of these at the interchange between I-44 and State Route 13, and it was finished in the same year. This new design saw extreme traffic improvements directly after being built. First of all, obviously left-hand turn crashes were completely eliminated, but that wasn't the only thing. Right-angle crashes were reduced by 72%, rear-end crashes were reduced by 29%, and total crashes were reduced by 46%. All this for a completely new interchange design that I'm sure caused a lot of confusion for drivers who had never experienced it before. Even with that, it still caused significant improvement. Now, if you're in need of significant mental improvement, you might need BetterHelp. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Well, BetterHelp may be the answer. Starting therapy can be hard. The idea of this type of face-to-face -face interaction can be uncomfortable for some. And the right therapist might not be available in your area. With BetterHelp, you can complete your therapy sessions with a licensed therapist on the phone, as a video chat, or even via messaging. Whatever is most comfortable for you. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash beavergeography. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network and give you access to a wide range of expertise. All you have to do to get started is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and you'll get matched with your therapist within 48 hours in most cases. Scheduling is convenient and if your first therapist doesn't feel like the right fit, you can easily switch with no additional cost. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash beavergeography today. Clicking that link helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with the therapist and see if it helps. Thank you to BetterHelp help and let's get back to the video. So after the opening of this first interchange in Springfield, Missouri, the Federal Highway Administration released a report about alternate interchange designs which included the diverging diamond for an entire chapter. This meant lots of research was conducted on the lone instance in Missouri, and it helped other states and cities realize how smart of a design it was. Cities started to build them a bit more, with Kentucky completing their diverging diamond at the intersection of US 68 and State Route 4 in Lexington in 2011. 
decreasing its crashes by 45%. On the same day as the Kentucky interchange was opened, so was another in Highland, Utah. There were five completed in 2011, eight in 2012, 14 in 2013, increasing all the way to 19 in 2016, which saw the introduction of the design to three new states, Oregon, New Mexico, and Delaware. So as you can tell, this is a very new interchange design, and it only recently began to take over as a widely considered option for cities. Interestingly, the first diverging diamond in California wasn't completed until 2020 in Manteca, at the intersection between State Route 120 and Union Road. The state still only has three, with four more under construction or planned. Present day, there are over 150 in the country, with many more in countries across the world, such as Canada, Australia, Malaysia, and more. The design has exploded onto the scene recently, and for good reason. If you've ever been on a diverging diamond, you can probably say the same thing as I can. You barely notice the difference between that and a normal diamond interchange, and it seems to run significantly smoother. Studies have shown that these designs reduce traffic delays anywhere from 15 to 60 percent, and increase throughput by 10 to 30 percent. As far as traffic goes, the design was able to accommodate twice the left turn traffic as the conventional diamond design. Diverging diamonds have started to be considered everywhere but there are specific spots that are more fit for them. According to the Federal Highway Administration, they should be considered if a location has either heavy volumes of left turns onto or off of freeway ramps, moderate but unbalanced crossroad traffic volumes through the interchange, left turn related safety concerns, or a need for additional capacity without widening the roadway or bridge. And that last one is another plus for this design. They aren't very expensive to build, and they don't take up more room than your average urban diamond design. They've also been proven to work in high traffic areas. The largest diverging diamond is at the junction of I-75 and University Parkway in Sarasota County, Florida. This was formerly one of the biggest bottlenecks in the state, and they chose to turn it into a diverging diamond with five lanes on each side. And it has performed well in accommodating the large traffic volumes. Now, a lot of people watching this video probably haven't been through a diverging diamond, and they have some reasonable criticisms and worries. The main thing is obviously that it forces drivers onto the left side of the road, which can cause confusion, and some drivers may force themselves into oncoming traffic, trying to stay on the correct side of the road. And this does happen for sure. Someone I knew made a Snapchat story saying how confusing the design was, and how she went into the wrong lane and had to reverse out of it. But what matters is that that was embarrassing for her. And for the bulk of drivers, the traffic is directed in a way that makes it very easy to follow the lines and stay on the correct side of the road. The main thing though is that this issue will be solved as these interchanges continue to be built across the country and everyone gets used to it. So what does the future look like for the diverging diamond interchange? Well, it looks extremely bright. Engineers and planners are well aware of the benefits and it seems to be considered in every construction project that it could apply to. I think with the rate it's at right now, we will see it as one of the most common designs across the country very soon, and it could be a common secondary design. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the members this week, Haystack, Mikita Marginoff, KMS162, JL, SirJC17, Ryzen, Jerome McCall, Dominic Psyche, Rosebud4, Jeremy Jarvis, Christopher DeAngelis, Darkbird, Big Pasty, Jeremy Crone, Wolflink73, Snyder Schwein, Florida Jake, Stormy Knight, Benjamin Whitings, Ryan Devins, and Hazev the Wolf. I appreciate you all so much. The amount that you've given to the channel is super appreciated. It's so kind and it's done so much for me. If you want to become a member, the link is down in the description below. All this money just goes into my savings. So if you want to so if you want to support me as a person, that's the best way to do it. Thank you.